Hello there everyone and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 in which we're using the new Step Back DLC of course. Now, uh, I made a little bit of a mistake yesterday and this isn't where we left off yesterday because I did do a few other things and we have a different person here. But, you guys were correct and I assumed correctly as well after I finished the last video I made the realization that I wanted to do open national elections to get to the place where we could go. But to go down this route you have to, you're forced to do the Warsaw Riot which I wish that, that this wasn't here, that you have to go down reassert Seleucian claims to do this one as well, sort of-ish. It just, I don't know, it was really weird. So I did do the Warsaw Riot. The Sun Asha will never agree to transfer power peacefully to power to the Phalanges, but the Phalanges' influence is growing far beyond the Sun Asha's control. One violent demonstration of Warsaw may be all it takes to place the Phalanga in direct control of the nation. So now we can have this path open. We're still at war with the Germans. Not really that much else has changed. Um, the Soviet Union's civil war is still going on. The Ukraine is dying, but... What else is it? But we're expanding Catavis' resources. Despite its relatively small size, Upper Silesia. It's a treasure trove of steel and aluminum. Although it would be ideal to control the entirety of Silesia, we must for now exploit the Upper Silesian industries to their fullest. Which would be very nice. And it's of course June 3rd, 1940. So we just finished that one up. National education would probably be the next one we do. We could use a little more wars, but we could use more stability in all honesty. But... We all do finish off this area as well. Pleasant Forts, Hell Fortified Area, Prussian Line. I do want to support global phalanges, but we're currently at war. We could also do the concept between the seas. That would be bad to do. Let's do the Prussian line. I want to finish this stuff first, though. The Prussian line. East Prussia is a key invasion point for the Germans and a great gap in their current defenses. By expanding our fort line along the Prussian border, our armies will be more capable of defending our nation from the threat to north. Our fort line, yeah. Out fort line? But yeah, as you can see, we're still fighting these guys. Actually, they're, uh, they're doing okay. France is in the Allies. Italy's in the Axis. We still have the check on town here. Romania is in the Allies. And uh, Bulgaria's in the Axis. Since I didn't realize that this group actually joined the Japanese sphere. Oh, they're oh, they went with the Japanese puppet focus. Ooh, request imperial protection. Ooh, that is not ideal. That is really quite not good. Ukraine's not doing so well. But yeah, they're still fighting. We're still fighting. We're having an okay time here. We're doing well. We're doing okay. I see. Uh, I we could have joined the Allies, the Communist States. Oh my God, the Communist States of America. Are you kidding me? Uh, Yugoslavia doesn't check on top by themselves. We've lost about 300,000. That's pretty bad. But we've killed off about 600,000 Germans. So I'm feeling feeling okay about it. And we had a, we've had a lot of strikes. Why did you go communist? Foreign claims and strike like that. So oh my gosh. Just want to reform the Commonwealth, man. That's all I want to do. But after the Prussian line, I, I always like finishing all of this stuff off as fast as possible, so then we can complete Plan West. Iberian nations. What? Alright, um, so we see a fortified area. More ports constructed in the south will secure additional defenses. Yeah. And now, of course, instead of, uh, Domowski, which you guys did comment saying that he was, wasn't was a fascist, but more of a national democrat. Well, when we go this route, and we do the Warsaw Riot, we get this guy here, Boleslaw. So, the other guy, as you guys mentioned, um, the Domowski guy, apparently wasn't really a fascist, but it was more like a national democrat. So, eventually, I do want to do, I will go back down this route sometime, and will we, we will become a puppet of Germany someday. But not for this campaign. I do apologize for screwing that up earlier. It, it is what it is. I, whenever I record these videos, I, I never know what's going to happen. And my usually I don't practice going down certain routes just because I don't have the time for it. I literally don't have the time. So, yeah. Uh, pretty much everything you see usually is my first attempt at stuff. But not always. But usually. Usually. Now we're making more, more civvies. Even though we probably could use more millies. Yeah, why am I doing that? That's... Um, 60%, 60%. Just gonna be plucked then. Oh. And, oh, okay, okay. Oh my god, again? What was up with all these strikes? Always strikes. Uh, offer to increase food workers stuff, whatever. Mexican Republic. Why is everyone joining the Axis? Holy crap. I don't even up here, though. Entrenchment specialist? Max entrenchment. That's not bad. That's actually really good for defense. You know, let's go with that one. Let's go with that guy. Anything there? Anything for you, infantry specialist? I guess if you really want that one, that's fine. Whatever, don't really care. Organizer, you... Actually, yeah, this guy could become a, the leader here. Huh. Cavalry expert, that's fine. Get a little more entrenchment for now. Um, yeah, we could try a general attack, but our manpower is a little bit lacking right now. Yeah, we don't have a ton of manpower. You guys go in there too. You should be able to do okay. Of course, it is 1940. Get, we'll continue working on our land auction a little bit. Get some more anti-air. Get some artillery eventually. Go with some more Latin, or night assault tactics. Not a bad idea. Don't let these guys move. They don't need movement. They don't need legs where they're going. Actually, we're looking really good here. 
Can we actually do a general attack? Pretty, pretty mixed bag-ish. Oh, actually, you guys are right here. I told these guys like just kind of care in the area for now. Proof of competing machine. Yeah, a lot of the time we we took a lot of the couches because we did do general attacks. It's really smooth right now though too. Um, yeah, we'll see what happens. Some areas here like this, not bad. Over here is pretty bad though. Military police two is not bad. Uh, for 1940, we have research. We're going nuclear. Uh, we get some more rubber, maybe? Air doctrine. I always do this one. I prefer more air superiority anyways. We can only get 1.44 political power every single day. But yeah. Uh, casualties are racking up a little bit more. But we've killed off 700,000 of them. So about 2 to 1 casualty ratio. So that's not terrible. Could, of course, be better, but whatever. It is claim territory. Not bad. Alright, so now it looks like we can't really win too much. So we're going to just go to hold and reassess our losses. 400,000 losses versus roughly 2 to 1. Prussian line, not bad. Uh, expand the Pleasant Forts. Pleasant's already home to a plethora of bunkers and key defensive structures, but there's much room for improvement. Poznan is the first line of defense against the enemy and must be defended, regardless of the cost. Why am I taking so long? Actually, that's this one. We'll do support global phalangism. We're not alone in our struggle for bringing phalangism to our nation. There are volunteers across Poland who seek to support phalangist movements worldwide, and the states should support these individuals. Absolutely. Liberec. Oh, useful eaters. Without mentioning the strikes taking place, Boleslaw Piasek announced today that the workers in the war relevant uh, industries will get extra rations of sugar, coffee, and meat to maintain their strength. Sad of the rumors that the government was willing to hand out extra chocolate turned out to be false. While the ringleaders of the strike try to keep the workers from returning to work, most seem to have accepted that peace and bread were never going to happen, and are happy with just the bread. Better earn the keep. And this, this is only because we have less than 50% stability, probably. That's so stupid. It makes sense, but like it's so annoying to deal with. Strikes? God. If they go to war the Benelux, that's, that's pretty much the end of them. It might literally already be the end of them already, but... Hey, we'll see. Um, one... Okay, yeah, we can definitely go in there then. Oh, now there's two. Uh, sure, for now. I'm not sure how far this campaign... How far we're gonna go in this campaign, just because... There's a lot of people joining the Allies. Of course, there's naval trees, huh? Go in. They're, they're really weak on the line, especially around here. Maybe not so much here, but definitely down here and up here as well. We're taking a lot of losses, too, which is unfortunate. Good. Come on. We can break over. I know we can. They're not that strong. They're only German. Oh, they're actually invading. Oh, the Axis is in there, huh? Keep a lot of pressure on them. Of course, the more losses we take, the more war score participation we get, right? Right? We are suffering so many casualties. Our military is just not that good compared to other militaries. Okay, are they abandoning the line now? They might little. Okay, just, just go for Berlin. If you can, of course. Good. Good. Screw it. If they want to naval invade us, so be it. We're going to get the horses back up here, too. Get on the line, boys. We're going in. I want Berlin. Berlin tasty. Go in. He's been wounded. No other upgrades yet. Actually, what are we on? We're only on limited conscription. Oh, the Dutch boys are gone. Group infantry equipment. Um... Proved already nice. Uh, let's get some of this too. Follow Berlin. The Polish juggernaut cannot be stopped. Absolutely. Actually, if anything, I want you both of you to come here. Do that. Cut him off. Cut him off. Yes, tricky. Yes. We'll go oh god, we're out of equipment, are we? Oh my god, we're out, so out of so many guns. Drugs are okay though. I thought the Netherlands capitulated. Did they, did they come back? They must have. Alright, assuming control of South African colonies, so be it whatever. Keep these guys in place. You could actually probably win if you went if you went there too. Nice. And we'll get some more organization. Yes, please. Support global phalangism. Sure, guys, you can go through a country. And complete plan west, held fortified area. By fortifying key areas, we make ourselves less vulnerable should war come again to our shores and borders. Pretty much, man. 
All right, so because of the way houses are structured, I'm going to just do this. It's because we're going to run out of military factors eventually once we give up some territory here. Maybe if we do do that. So, yeah. We suffered about over half a million. 800,000 losses, not bad. Ooh, railway gun. Oh, don't mind if we do. We actually have enough military factors to get railway guns. Nice. I think the Germans have so few divisions now, maybe. Should be able to win without stopping the war effort, but we'll see. Of course, they don't have Austria hungry with them, but still. Come on, come on. Oh, oh they made it again. Look at that. Nice. They, they have a port too, which is really smart for them. Oh, and we cut off uh, this area too. Better radar is very, very good. Um, logistics, maybe? Do we have logistics on our dudes? National Defense Fund? Oh, that sucks. Oh, we don't actually have the logistics on these guys yet. Anti-air, anti-tank. I'd love to throw anti-air on here, but we don't have enough. I have an anti-tank. No. Logistics? No. But we're going to do it anyways, because we can. Yeah, I think we'll just take all of Germany for ourselves. I don't know. We might just annex them. Let's see. Oh! Kills ours. Great. We're running out of manpower. Man, we went all the way into the Denton land as well. Wow. I love phalangism. Yeah, I'll do the hell fortified area, I think. Good. And go on in and see what you can do. We got Munich. We got Berlin. We need Stuttgart. And that should be it, right? Right? Should be it, right? Yeah. Better rubber's always nice. Get some more fuel as well, maybe. Yeah. God dang, brutal fighting. Yeah, they are 88% of the way there. Not bad. You don't have to be killing that many of them. It's just... Just getting rid of them. Nice. Could do some rocket artillery, but it's better planes. Thank you. Yes, yes, yes. Air support, yes. Slowly encroaching... Encroaching... Encroaching everywhere. Alright, so we won! Uh, I think I'll give all of Yugoslavia Italy, because for funsies. You can have all of Italy. I'm going to take all of Germany, though, because we we are the ones who literally deserve it. Portugal can be given to the UK. Um, Who else is here? France? I won't give them the Netherlands. I won't give this to anybody, actually. I don't think we really deserve it, but... I don't do the resistance. UK? Here. Screw everyone else. Alright, we actually beat the Germans. Go figure. Um, do we release him as a puppet? We can still join the Allies. But the concept between seas, meet Moors, state Catholicism, Falangist International, it's fully independent, and we're fascists, and then we can create our own factions. As much as I want to, hmm. Remote upper, Polish upper class. Man, Lithuania. I kind of do want to do that one. Has not capitulated. Still independence, peace, non faction. Maybe that auto bypass. Support anti Germans abroad. National Commonwealth. Oh, we're still at war. Oh, well, we get cores in all that states. would be really nice. Become the Polish Empire. And we get Pomerania. Prepare the German line. Hmm. Support anti German stuff abroad. I don't mind this one, but I kind of prefer demand Lithuania. The Lithuanian government is fractured, weak, and characterized by poor economic and military leadership. The Polish state is incomplete without subjects, and perhaps by merely demanding it, the Lithuanians will agree to unification. Or Falangist International. Standing against Nazism and the Italian fascism places us in a vulnerable position, but we must seek allies in our struggle against the Germans. Perhaps by presenting Falangism as an alternative, we may form an alliance of like minded nations. Uh, can we take you guys out next? What happens? What if we join the Allies and then fight these guys? Who are we fighting? Indonesia. Why the heck are we fighting Indonesia? Hmm. We could always leave and call in our Allies to help take out Austria-Hungary. We could still have to check on time. The Axis is by still. Oh, the Axis is still alive. Oh, the Axis is in Spain too. Hmm. They could help us take these guys out too. It doesn't give us time to build ourselves up. You know, let's accept it. For now. Who are they fighting? Yeah, I'm sorry, I don't care. So if we do this, that means that Austria-Hungary cannot join 
uh, the enemy faction. We can get support and just be given a whole crap ton of equipment, which is stuff we need. So that's the only reason why we're doing this. We will leave the faction eventually. Trust me, we will definitely leave. We don't want to stay with these guys. Stay with these chuckleheads. Um, nope, we're not doing any of your wars, you stupid idiots. Of course not. Why would we join your wars? No one cares about your stupid wars. But my goal is to annex as many people as possible, or at least public them. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I don't know. How long is them in Latin America and Benelux? It's not a bad idea. Then again, they still have stuff up here too. Mm -hmm. I got a pretty tender underbelly down here. Pretty tender. Cancel them. What do you mean? Oh yeah. See, we'll get some. Oh, we'll get some fighters. Oh yeah. We'll probably use it against those guys too. Anyways, we will need to raise the conscription level. We would like to reform the Commonwealth too. So we got we got goals here, and we will do between the seas eventually because we will. So why not? Balance is international. Um, I kind of want to demand Lithuania, but that's already done. So, oh, I'll get this one too. More recruitable population factor. National Commonwealth. Well, it requires demand Lithuania, and then this one requires. Demand Lithuania. So you might as well do Demand Lithuania. Fractured between characters by poor economic and military leadership. The Polish state is incomplete without its subjects, and perhaps by merely demanding it, the Lithuanians will greater unification. Nice. Oh, you can't do this one? Oh, we need more compliance. That's actually okay. We'll get that one eventually. Integrate Pomerania. The Slavic Kashubian people see the entirety of Pomerania as a rightful borders of the nation, and many Poles too see it as a rightful Polish territory. With lands now in our hands, all we need to do is integrate it with their government, and Eastern Germany will become Western Poland. And prepare the German line? I'll wait for that one. Let's do say Catholicism. The Catholic identity is intrinsic to Falange's ideology and as such. Church and state must become one and the same. Very, very nice. Well, everybody, now it's March 20th, 1941, and we've gone to war with Austria-Hungary, but before I went to war with them, well, we were kicked out of the Allies. I guess they didn't like it that we are kind of caused a little bit of mischief and trouble here. But we've done a pretty okay job. We've taken bear note already, which is pretty nice, I'll be honest. Um, 24,000, 25,000 losses versus 32? Not great, but, you know, could be a lot better. Could be a lot worse. But could be a lot better. I hope we can wrap this area up here. I'm not too worried about getting down this Hungarian, little Austrian part of the territory. But we'll see what happens as we're continuing to try to get some more uh, anti-partisan groups right now. We'll, we'll see how far this campaign we can go with this. Um, obviously with the Allies just not helping us out. Because I didn't expect them to really help us out anyways. Uh, we'll see what we can do. We can, now we can of course support phalangism in uh, the world. Get more... Ooh. Fascist support there for 70 days. 50 political power for daily 0.15 fascism for a little over two months. Is that really worth it? I mean, it might be, but... Eh. Oh, you guys finished. Nice. Good job, guys. Now we got to struggle for Vienna. Eventually. We're not quite there yet. Okay, then. Welcome back, I guess, to us. Uh... Oh... Uh, okay. Call to arms. Well? Wait, what? In what way is Japan trying to justify on us? Are they trying to take out America or something? Or are you guys trying to take us out? No? Um, I'm not really sure. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, we're doing uh, the Hell Fortified Area, too. So if you reread that one again, reread that one, please go right ahead. But. Oh, we got. Oh, crap. Indonesia. Well, that's not good. We still play with the peace conferences on. Um, I. I don't know who gets all the territory. I'm going to assume it's going to be the UK. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, we'll give them all the territory because I, I don't I, I can't be bothered with it. So I do apologize for this, especially right now. Um, yeah, that was very weird that they... I do apologize for the clicking as well. But like, it's very weird that they kicked us out and then they want us to come back in. It's not weird that they kicked us out. It's weird that they want us back. So I don't quite understand that. But you know what? Some things... You're just not meant to understand. Like nuclear physics, I don't understand it. Do I like nuclear? Do I like physics? No, but yes. Yes, but no, but yeah. Um, but sometimes you just accept things for what they are and, and trying to question the logic behind things. But regardless, let's finish this off. Thank you. Well, we just made the Allies stronger. UK really has a lot of territory now. Um, can we get some more Lendleys, please? That'd be real nice. We're out of support equipment. We're out of a lot of support equipment. Wow. They do have some tanks as well. If we get Budapest, hopefully that'll be enough to capitulate them. Thank you. Uh, we've lost... Ah! Good job, America. And now everyone's coming in. Yay! We've got 270,000. Now it's almost a 3 to 1 ratio. Actually, it's a little more than 3 to 1. Everyone's coming on in. Thank you, Romania. We're not going to give any territory to anybody else, though. 
I think I raised a conscription level too as well, so that'd be nice. Any other railguns? No. Okay. If we could just get right here, they are attacking us like crazy. Who? Oh, it took Budapest. Oh, Vienna's not a capital. Now the capital. Improved anti-air in 41. Nice. Oh, thanks, France. Thanks, guys. If we could just take one of these tiles, please. Just take one of them. And cut literally all of these. Oh, they, a lot of them already died off. Oh, we won. Look at that. We actually won. Yay. We're going to get kicked out of the faction again. Because I'm probably going to just find somebody else. Oh. Okay. We got guaranteed. Um, I still just want to use them. Yeah, actually, getting this one would be pretty good. So I guess we'll prepare the German line. The border against Germany is the most vulnerable part of our nation. If we want to keep Warsaw in German hands, we must meet them directly at the border and laugh as they attempt to break our will. Nice. So, since we have you, go and help us put down a lot more partisans. Um, yeah, we must do pretty much all of Hungary. That's fine for now. Just put them down, put them down. Honestly, is there anyone we really care about going fascist? If anybody... A hundred? Oh, Yugoslavia's killing itself. That's pretty nice. Hmm. They're pretty commie in Paraguay. Paraguay, is anyone... Oh, how about Peru? We can tip Peru over. Japan clear one of the Philippines. Oh, well, we can't tip Peru over. Okay, then. Um, is there anyone... Venezuela, maybe? Maybe Belgium? Mm, we could try Belgium. Why not? We'll try. Because we can. Spirits industry is pretty good. Let's come over here too. Thank you. Fairly the German line, which would do nothing for us pretty much completely. So, but whatever. And then radicalize the Polish militants in Germany. So we get some more daily compliance. 0.01%. There are Polish minorities all across Germany. Just prime for radicalization, like me. If if I was Polish, of course. Perhaps if we were to reveal them, or reveal to them, the designs Germany has for Poland, then they would be stirred up into the militancy prime for alignment with their cause. Oh, absolutely. What is next? Not you guys. Uh, Axis? Do we want a Bulgarian puppet? Maybe we do. Maybe we don't. I'm feeling kind of Bulgarian though right now. I don't know about you. But I'm feeling pretty Bulgarian. We are going to just go wee. Something like that. Something stupid like that. Ah, good. Do you have any more planes we can spare for our guys? No. <laughs> we say that with a resounding happiness in her, in her voice. I hope no one, especially those guys over in Russia, want to take us out. Oh, there goes Yugoslavia. And there goes the Yugoslavian Confederation. Oh, young Peter. Huh. Oh, out of manpower. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Um. Yeah, I'm not sure I'll respond to that. Fuel refining is pretty good, too. In 41, of course, we'll grab not more fuel currently. Maybe some radar that we're not going to use that much, maybe? 123, maybe more stability. Stability would be pretty darn nice, especially as we get higher and higher. Or it would take a 30% war score participation. 30% stability hit when we go to war. Um, I think were, the Ukraine is completely independent. They do have claims on some of their states, though. Hmm. I wish they were cores. And then again, we do want to reform the Commonwealth. So this way we get all of Lithuania, Polish, and Latvian states. Which you go, what, bro, bro? Seriously, man? We do all that, and you want to kick us out again? Twice in one campaign so far? And you have the audacity to ask us to come back into your stupid little wars? Ah. <sighs> Big sadness hours, man. They just don't respect us at all. Still mobilizing, though. Um, what do we have? We actually doing really want equipment except, except for planes, which is pretty darn normal for me. Planes, go and do that too if you can. That'd be nice. Railway guns. There you go. There you go. We need way more rubber as well. Rubber. Not even once. Construction five. Get some more extraction. And go and build a uh, synthetic refinery. There you go. Not bad. Two civvies of Millie and some of that. Not too shabby. Um, how do we go to war with Bulgaria if we're not in the Allies? If we, oh, they're actually allied to the National Spain. Oh yeah, that's right, they are. So if we do go to war with them. Then can we rejoin the Allies, please? 
anti blitzkrieg tactics. That's not bad either. I kind of like this one too. The Germans seek to overrun our nation with quick and overwhelming force, but perhaps this war machine is mere glass cannon. Men can be forced to face danger without retreat, and a tank is only formidable if we do not prepare for it. Pretty much. Uh, you're so close to fishing that one first. Just go and do that one too. Thank you very much, and you did it. Good job, guys. Good job. Anything else over here? We did finish our land auction, so now we can spend the army XP for this. Uh, theater training's not bad. What about over here? Static warfare. We're honestly probably going to need static warfare, just because we're going to get attacked by hit a lot. I mean, I mean, a lot. This one doesn't do as much for us because we don't need that extra land auction and reduction cost. Political power would be pretty nice, but we don't really need that either. Good improvisation, entrenchment speed, state serves the military. Well, that seems like a lot of sense for what, the way we've gone so far. Cavalry attack, cavalry unit design, proper heritage. Hmm. Railway bombardment. I want to go with elevated engineering corps just because we get entrenchment speed. Maybe we'll max out our entrenchment. We'll see. I like having a lot of entrenchment, though. Well, then. We'll go to war with them. If we can, maybe we'll go to war with you as slot Vladimir the Third. Oh, they so I want Tsaris. And they're a Japanese puppet. Good job, guys. Good job. Well, let's see if we can go to war with Yugoslavia. Of course, they are democratic. Well, what do we don't want? You're both independent, aren't you? Well, we'll see what happens when we do that. Three fighters, fighters, 41. Uh, that's 42 stuff. Uh, I'll get more fuel because you can. Justify, maybe? Or maybe with Ukraine. They are democratic as well, though. We do have a claim state. Can we go to war with you guys? Then again, can we call them in our own alliance? They're in their own faction, though, so. We cancel non aggression pact. We started a lot of world tension, but still. Uh, we'll see what happens. Our ones will be pretty nice, though. We're justifying a lot to be up, right? Yeah. And if the allies don't intervene, we'll take them out. But if they do, well, that would be a really great force, now would it? Improved anti-tank is nice. Improved radar. Grab some of that, too. Better planes would be very nice as well. Mm. We're going to see that the allies are not finding the axis, but whatever. At all. Like, literally at all. Actually, Belgium... How fascist are you guys? Well, there's a little bit of fascist them there. Removed in December. Yeah, if we can get one country turned fascist, that'll make me happy. Angered by those guys. It's almost 41. As you can tell, I'm not really focused on the Navy too much. Or even tanks. What do we research then? Um... I'm not really going to focus on the Navy at all. Ah, oh, we have a blueprint. Why not? Do that one. Uh, please. Please not guarantee them. Oh, you guys are already fighting. Yeah, you're fighting these guys, too. If we were to join and fight, actually, like, Japan at the same time, <clears throat> would that be better for us? So we actually stay in the Allies? No, we get to get kicked out, though, right? Yeah, I'd rather not fight the Russians, so we'll see what happens. Oh, hello. What is this? Crimea. Oh, the UK's over there, too. Well, all right. Just want fascist Brussels. Slowly going up, and we're done mobilizing. God dang it, that's not good enough. It's honestly really just not good enough for us. Uh, hundred percent. Where is it? Hundred oh, percent. Not much, but we'll take it. We're missing anything but planes. Even the planes are not looking as bad as they were once. That's not bad. Twenty-five things on guns. Could use a little bit more rubber, but we'll get there eventually too. Please do not guarantee them. Please don't guarantee them. Ah, uh, less than a month left, which is not bad. So, anti-blitzkrieg anti tactics. Phalanges international. Let's do this one. I want to see what we can do here. So we get a little more attack and defense bonus, but we do get the recruitable population factor and more war support. The Confederacja Narodu is a small group of Polish nationalists who oppose any German efforts to occupy Poland. Perhaps by announcing her interest in opposing to the Germans and opposition to the opponent, uh, to the Germans. These militants may be aligned right with the cause. Why not? Hey, railway guns, yes. Big guns. If we're going to get anything, we like them big. Big and beautiful. 
Of course, then again, these guys should have a ton of... Yeah, that's a lot of resistance. We are angered by... Wait, Ukraine... Oh, oh yeah, we're doing the claims here, too. So we got three days. Oh, that's not bad, too. I do want to go to the, the Latvians first, though. And we have one ship. Nice. All right, let's see what happens. I hope they don't join the Allies. Because that would really suck. We should be able to do okay though. Move your little, little legs. Yes. And it's almost 42. Get, get that one, too. Oh, 10 days. Holy crap. We can move fast here. Uh, phalangism. Uh, eight days left. That's fine. Uh, warp up again. We don't really need that. Hey, good job, guys. Yay, we got him. Not really too much of a surprise, but whatever. How many soldiers does Ukraine have? Can we actually just use our horses for these guys? We might be able to. And peace deal? Can we go to total mobilization? Darn it, we cannot. Let's just go infantry equipment, I guess, for now. Anti Blitzkrieg stuff? Yeah, we'll do that one next. Um, our independence is guaranteed, which is really nice, actually. Alright, well. Might as well try to save. We're taking everyone out, the, everyone out that we possibly can right now. Um, obviously, I want to go Phalangis, but there's not really much for us to do unless we want to go to War of the Allies, which is kind of formidable, to be honest with you, right now. But, uh, yeah. Okay, that makes sense for them to join the Axis. I'm not opposed to that at all. You guys, can you guys do well here too? They join the Axis as well. I mean, whatever. Advanced web processing, not bad. And of course, it being so close to 42, we're going to grab some more pistols. Not just guns, better guns in general. So far, so good. So far, so good. Uh, state Catholicism? Sounds like a pretty good thing to me. The Catholic identity is intrinsic to the phalangist ideology, and as such, church and state must be one and the same. So this is this way we do get to go to Bulgaria. We can't go to quite to national Spain, but you know it is what it is. That's nice. Officer Corps role, infantry specialist. Well, we're kind of already okay with whatever we have chosen already. So uh, another infantry division. Not bad. Not bad. We're doing a lot better than I thought we would. Uh, what type of template do they have here? Not good. Even though these horses. Um, they're definitely decent. Definitely decent. Actually, supply. A little bit less piercing. That's fine. You know, we're going to supply issues eventually, so... Uh, we might as well do that now. I don't know. There might only be one more episode after this. We'll see what happens. I'm not really sure, just because... I don't know. I don't want to fight the Allies. It's either fight the Allies or fight the Co-Prosperity Sphere. I'm not feeling either side, really. That means if we have to fight the Allies, we have to fight the UK. That's kind of annoying. Oh, yeah. Fascist Belgium, please. It can take so long to get more fascist influence, though. Ugh. Why can't fascism just be easy mode? Oh, we're doing quite well. How many have we lost? Oh, it's glitched. Oh, no. Okay, then. Wow. Go there and circle them all. There you go. Good job. Uh, yeah. Not bad. Not bad. This is a little concerning, but not too much, really, honestly. Oh, we're just going straight in. Okay, yeah, we took out the axis ourselves. Oh, we oh that sucks. We got a circle, bro. Why are you getting encircled, man? Oh, you're just going to keep trying to beat up other people to get out of there. You, you might get it worse to yourself. If you're trying to leave, actually take more territory. Holy crap. Broski, broski, relax. So for this one, that's not bad. For this one, though, as much as I want to do improve supply stuff, um, division speed's not bad. Uh, I kind of like Static Warfare just in case. <sighs> Organization loss of moving. That's not really worth it for us. Aggressive reconnaissance. Yeah, let's do something else. Uh, let's go Infiltration Assault. Uh, I'll see what we can do that one. Infiltration Assault. Because that's the one I've not done before yet, so. Infiltration Assault. There you go. Uh, flight stuff, we can wait a little bit more. You guys, Fall of Hong Kong. Infinite, innovative Leadership. How many more generals do we have in reserve? 
Oh, we got quite a few, actually. So I'm not too concerned about getting more generals. Mm, trickster, eh, stuff's okay. I do prefer the terrain chance. Yeah, th theater training, just the terrain chance, I love uh, terrain, terrain improvements so much. Just so much. Yeah, General Roman Abraham is doing really great. Awesome. Privoli. Alright, well, there goes that part of the axis. Uh, well, you might as well come over here and help, help us out. Stupid with Spaniards. Well, I guess we didn't get these guys, but still. I was supposed to get over there, besides going through the allies. No idea. Very guaranteed by them. Well, we'll see what happens. And the horses have this completely under control. Just awesome. I just want more railway guns. I just want to make enemies explode. Horse strong. Romania wants to restore the alliance. The old the lives of Romania was collapsed in recent years. The threat of Germany and Hungary seemed to, seems remote, but in the face of a shifting situation, Carol II has come to Warsaw to discuss the renewal of the Ro Romanian Polish alliance. For the time being, this agreement is only defensive in nature, with both sides promised to support one another in the case of war. Our reasonable requests were not interested. All right. Not bad. We need each other. We love each other. We're about to get rid of a lot of Swiss people together. Not bad. Stay Catholicism. Don't mind if we do. What does this one do? Special forces, training, and stuff like that. It's not bad. Alliance International. Complete plan west. Well, Silesian fortified area. More force constructed in the south will secure additional defenses. Not a bad idea. Not, not, not bad at all. Hey, we got the Ukraine. Good job, guys. We got the Ukraine. Can you guys just, like, defend here while we're waiting for everyone else to hurry up? Mm. How fascist are you now? Relatively fascist. A third of fascist. Not bad. Could be better, though. Could be much better. We're going to build a lot here. We're really making ourselves kind of thick and large. But we like it when we're thick and large. We don't want to be small and tiny. Or soft. But we'll talk about that later. It's on another channel. Um, yeah, overall not bad. This is a very weird world where Russia is owned by the Japanese now, and they're led by a puppet Tsar, while they can't kill out the allies. And yeah, not the world I envisioned for this campaign. I was hoping we would be able to find allies like that, just allies, but, you know, whatever. I guess done yet? Come on, go all the way in. Can they kill us here if we do this? Oh, they're guaranteed by those guys now. Um, I don't want to fight the allies. Mm. Now, if Russia goes to war with us, then the allies would obviously help fight uh, against the Japanese faction. But then again, they're already fighting them somewhat, so... Benelux? You, how long was that? Ten days? Not bad. Alright, well... It's not terrible. Um, You guys? Other people? Are they guaranteed by the evil capitalists? Maybe not. I mean, we could make these guys fascist, but... Uh... Yeah. Oh, well, they're not guaranteed. You might as well go in as fast as you possibly can. Okay, yeah, they, that's fine with me. They joined the Axis. That's fine. D Denmark maybe next? Why, why does it take so long? I don't have any mods on except for the colored buttons updated, like you see up here. As well as parallel peace conferences, that's all I have. So, I don't understand why we're able to do so well. Don't let them see you or destroy you. Anyone care that we're invading these guys? No? Sounds okay with me then. Got a lot of convoys. Oh, any ships though. They also join the Axis? Alright. Yeah, they're definitely struggling over here. You know, had they kept us in the, uh... In the group? The Allies? Maybe we could have worked something out. Maybe we could have. But they chose poorly. Incredibly poorly. Fuel refining? 
Um, there we go. You guys go up here. And then you guys go right up there. There you go. What's this go? How about the ship designer? Might as well. There you go. We getting invaded? Navy invaded? Wow. Yeah, we actually did. Oh, Denmark's gonna die now. Oh, well, they already died. They just died. Yeah, they can try that. No oh, Axis soldiers. Thinking they, they can win against us. Manchuka claims that. Alright. Well, how about Greece? Nice. Well, since you're all here and the horses are busy, uh, I'm not too concerned about that. How about Estonia? It's very angry, it's okay. That's fine. Whatever. Three, two, one, let's grow. They join the Axis. Yay! It's very weird, but yay! Uh, subs, maybe? I guess up next, we're going to do Silesia. No, we're definitely struggling. Oh, well, they do have 10 divisions. I mean, what do you expect? What do you expect, you know? Passive defense. Nice. Turkey's in the Allies, of course. Uh, can we make Belgium any more fat? No, we cannot. I don't like that it's cost 50 PP. I mean, it makes sense, but still, I don't like how much it costs. I don't like big PP costs. But what I do like is this. And we're going to get a lot of real guns to take out them uh, Greek boys. Nothing like good Greek boy lovers. Hmm. Oh, look at this. Not bad. That's a lot of divisions. How do they get 27 divisions here? That's a little bit excessive for Latvia. I guess the divisions. No, they look relatively okay. Hmm. Questionable. Quite questionable, actually, since you guys are down here anyways, come up out. Supplies are pretty bad in Albania, but that's alright. Let's save anyways, just in case. It's very odd, very weird. And we're looking, I mean, honestly, we're looking pretty darn thick. I love it. I love how thick we're looking. Can we become the Commonwealth at least? Oh, come on, man. M's oils fuel it would not be bad. Yeah, let's get some free fuel. You could definitely use it. Five, four, three, two. Oh my gosh, supply so bad. Oh yeah, and we want to do make sure we do that too. They join the Axis because joining the Axis is very cool right now. That's what the cool kids do. Everyone loves our fascists. You right there too. Well, why not? Uh, how about we got some. Nastiness, maybe? Over there? Alright, not bad. They are doing force defense, which is quite unfortunate, especially when we can't really kill them off that well, but... Uh, it's because of supply issues, that's all. Oh, eight divisions. That's not bad, though. Yeah, that's a smart thing to do. Just go... Just kind of go in here, guys. Um, come back over here and grab some more logistics companies. Can we throw them under infantry? We could honestly probably... No, we would have them under infantry. Oh. Anti-air? Might as well. Saima? Not a bad idea. We'll probably lose a lot of guys against these these uh, Greeks. But it is what it is. I mean, fighting Greece is pretty bad. Usually, at least. Losing a lot of guys. Then again, they should be losing a lot of guys too. They're going to force defense all the time. If they want to do force defense, we'll do force attack. 
Anyone, everyone's gonna be dead here. Alright, let's see. Mixed air, that's not good. Increase it. Oh, we can't. Gosh darn it. Um, sabotage Polish industry? Our enemies have far stronger enemies than ours, and is in greater number. Well, it'd be nice to entertain the idea that we won't, she shan't lose ground. The truth is, we're unlikely to hold out forever. By rigging our factories and railroads with explosives, we may uh, <clears throat> be able to render them useless to our enemies in the event of occupation. That's not bad. He did get these guys over here a little bit. Take them out if you possibly can, because after this, we're taking you guys out. Come up north. Hold and get out. Now you guys should be starving quite a bit. Yeah, that attrition is not high enough. Hey, look at that. We are pushing in a little bit. Pretty nice. Let's go right there just in case. Oh, keep them in place too. Nice. Obviously, we're taking quite a few things of attrition. Uh, more support companies will be very beneficial for us right now. Not bad, not great, but not bad. Do take Athens, though. It's pretty nice. And they won't take it back. God dang it. Good. Kill them all off if you can. 42 still. Let me join the Allies. Very weird, but okay, whatever. I think anyone really cared. Republic of China joined the Allies, huh? Hello. Um, not much here. There you go, nice. That's a bit excessive to have all our divisions over here, but that's okay. Everyone join the Axis. Everyone loves the Axis. Georgia joined the Allies. Turk Manistan joined the Allies. Okay. Alright, whatever. And, uh, give that stuff. Might as well, I guess. You know, might as well. Ireland joined the Allies. Ireland, huh? Oh, we got him. Everyone's joining the Allies. The Allies are just a bunch of cool kids. Well, some might say that. I definitely wouldn't. And there goes Estonia, too. Smailin? If we go to war with them, they definitely will definitely, 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 definitely want to uh, beat the crap out of us. Then again, who doesn't? Well. Guess we're going here. Some more sport equipment. Yeah, we could definitely. Ooh, we need more manpower. Service by requirement. Might as well. And then we'll do complete plan west. Polish military high commander satisfied with that adequate plan has been drawn for the inevitable conflict with the Germans, and the time for plan west has come to an end. So where are we getting alien bait? Oh god dang it! I hate you guys so much. Can we please just go to war with the Axis? Can you guys actually go? Oh, you're getting pushed in. Well, if you get push, usually that's going to be that's such a huge problem for us trying to actually push over this stupid little strait. Well, I think we did okay with that. All right. Can we at least get core stuff? No. Okay. Well, at least the plan was done. Pretty nice. I don't care this is 332 days ahead of time. We're still gonna do it. Uh under the Nawi Battaloni Kadroni. Specially trained shock battalions, uh, uh, UBK, are an armed wing of the Confederacy Narodu, ready to die to keep Warsaw out of enemy hands. Yeah. Too bad Warsaw has expanded to her own borders. Falange's Poland lo do be looking pretty nice. I'm not gonna lie. That do be looking pretty nice. Alright, so we're gonna kill off our only sub here. Do the best you guys can, Carol, just don't lose too hard.
Oh, we lost a couple railway guns. That sucks. Oh, I wasn't really paying attention to them. Well, let's promote a Polish upper class. Now, the young nation recently freed. Many Poles occupy only the lower economic strata of society. Our nation cannot endure if we do not create an elite class that is trained almost from birth to administer the country and seize for an aunt enterprise. Well, foreign investments have been quite useful for us. The enterprises they have established would be much better placed in Polish hands. This will upset the original owners, but this is a necessary act of patriotism. Absolutely. You guys doing okay here? Um, where do I set you up against next? Everyone we touch is in the Allies or Swiss. And don't tell me about Belgium. Um, please, Belgium, just just turn a little bit more fascist. There you go. Oh my god, they just... I hate this so much. Seriously, get rid of the Spanish. How do we get rid of them? We can't. They refuse to die. Even when they kill themselves, they refuse to die. Why? At least our horses are okay, though. That's so stupid. Oh, uh, new military academy. Our high command lays barren and empty, but this leaves a golden opportunity to plant the seeds for the future. Ensuring that future generations are loyal to our nation and highly dedicated in the art of war. But funding military academies across the nation will ensure that any new Polish officers are of higher caliber than any of our predecessors. I do want to finish this stuff up as well. National education. I think I heard this one before, but countless young minds attend universities across the country and are missing a golden opportunity to embed the ideals of the Poland they were building into their minds. Young people should be encouraged to become patriots, fighters, and bulwarks of Polish ideals. Atomic Physics Institute. We must not lose the chance to be the first to discover a way to harness the primal fire of vision. Pretty much. Not bad. Um, after that one, expand the Karakow Industries. Poland's old capital, Krakow, has been freed from the clutches of the Austrian Empire, but still the city remains shackled by its past. Lacking the modern industries, it need, needs to rival the West. With investment, we shall bring Krakow back from the dead. Modernized Galician industry. Galicia, like Krakow, was once held and neglected by the Austrians, but now it is once again at Polish hands. We may give it the investment into modernization that it so desperately needs. How are we doing over here? Are we doing okay? Doing alright? Struggling a little bit? We're doing okay. We're definitely doing okay. Level 6 attack. Very nice. Uh, was it Infiltration Assault? Let's do that one. How about just a wee bit more? Cut him off. Stockholm? Oh, we are getting attacked too, huh? We're gonna get a little bit encircled here, but that's okay. Happens, you know. Nice. And that's the old Polish region. Miners, old factories in Kios, Skarisko, Radom, Starachowicz, and Ostovich, while also rebuilding new ones to strengthen our industry. Congressional factories. Congress Poland is the largest, most unified region of our nation and holds the greatest potential for growth in all of Poland. By modernizing city, modern, major cities like Warsaw, we're turning Congress Poland into, this, into the heart of our nation. Warsaw Main Railway Station. Warsaw is a nexus of transport and cargo to avoid bottlenecks, extra efforts to be placed on the management of its railways. Such a defense of Poland. Poland's lacking the equipment it needs to defend against its countless threats to our border. By expanding the Ministry of National Defense, we shall better equipped to fight any army who seeks to brutalize Poland under occupation and develop Upper Silesia. We control by a small slice. Oh, oh, look at that. Sweden's gone. Uh, uh, region of Silesia, but that we do have is of great industrial significance. Silesia is uh, one of the most heavily industrialized regions in our nation, and with a little investment, it could continue to support the further industrialization of our entire empire, or our nation. Yeah, we're not an empire. Totally not an empire. Totally not trying to become an empire here. Uh, anti tank, this would be very nice. Well, we did really well against those guys. Oh, I was over here too. What, Norway? You looking like you could use a little bit of Polish cavalry. I can say we got a little nuts here. Yeah, it's going to be a pain in the butt to fight back, but whatever. So, kind of glitch, but whatever. Uh, subs. Uh, I'm actually okay with making this up a sub. This sub's not too bad for us. Nice. Cool. Why not? Oh, do we have supply? Oh, that's not good. Some serious supply issues here. Uh, I'll go right there. Go right there as well. That'd be good. Of course, Norway as well. 
they join the axis. Okay, extra planes here. I want to support these guys a little bit more if we possibly can. It is getting invaded again, but what else is new? Um, do not get encircled, you ding dongs. You're ding a ling a ding dongs. Did you actually break through? Holy crap, they actually broke through. Holy crap, you actually got encircled too. Oh my goodness. Bunch of derelict ding dongs over here. How are we doing in Norway? Doing okay. Not great, but okay. Belgium, would you like to become fascist? No. Too bad. Wait. Give me up. There we go. Ah, kill them all off. That'd be good. Are we doing okay over here? Ish, maybe? No, yes. Yes, no. I have a national education. We can do all this stuff. Um develop Gdansk standardization of equipment. By standardizing the equipment of all of our soldiers, we set foundations for modern supply apparatus. Yeah. We do that stuff as well. Falange is international. Standing against Nazism and telling fascism places us in a vulnerable position, but we must seek allies in our struggle against the Germans and others. Perhaps by representing or presenting Falangism as an alternative, we may form an alliance of like minded nations. Yeah, that'd be nice, but I read that one at least once, so. Yeah, we'll see. Allies are definitely struggling against the Japanese, though. That's kind of sad. Can you guys, like, do something here? Like, if you do it as a group, you might actually be able to win. Take out the airbase, and you might be able to do well. Come on. How are we doing up here still? Doing okay? Yeah, we're doing much better up here now. Force it. There you go. Another division? Not bad. Not bad. There you go. Go in there. Oh, how do we get defeated there? What? You guys go in there. Oh, you guys get up, down here. That's stupid. That was stupido. All we wanted to do was cut these morons off. For taking our territory that we so rightfully earned. Are you becoming a trickster? That's not bad. Could you go straight for Bergen? That'd be nice. I mean, the guys aren't that weak. They're pretty okay-ish. But still. Engineer is nice. Got some more output. We could probably honestly use more output, more planes, and such like that, so. Walking forts. Oh, we actually have a sub there. That's nice. There you go up there. Maybe you can make it. If not, oh god dang it. Where are you at? Why are you all here? Well, if that's the case, do that. If you all die, I'm not gonna cry over it. Now you should all. I guess we don't have the port too. Here, all. Oh, they all died. Nice. Oh, more millies. Um, do we need anything else here? Not really. Uh, so we'll see what happens. Uh, I'm not really sure. So if you enjoyed the video, uh, leave a like. Uh, so the subscribe if you're new. Uh, check out my Discord link in the description below if you haven't already. And I guess we'll see you tomorrow as we'll figure out what else we're going to do. And hopefully Spain's going to die someday as we watch the Asian, greater East Asian co prosperity sphere try to kill off the allies. And of course, vice versa. Thanks for watching. Have a great, 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 great rest of your day.